Camaros are cool, Corvettes are cool, even LS swaps are cool. But the reality is, they made more trucks than anything else. So let's take a look at some hard hitting truck cams from Brian Tui Race. In this video, I ran a lot of cam tests. Now I compared the factory cam to a stage one, two, and three truck cam from Brian Tui Racing. That might not sound like much, but I ran it both on a 5.3 and on a 6 liter. Still not impressed? Well, on the 6 liter, I ran it both with truck manifolds and long tube headers. That should make everybody happy, right? First test I ran on the Brian Tooley Racing Stage 1, Stage 2, and Stage 3 truck cams was run on a 5.3 liter and it originally started out as a junkyard motor but we had done a bunch of stuff to it already. We had done ring gap to it and I'd already put uh, new head gaskets and head studs on it because we were going to be running a bunch of boost stuff. But it was all configured with stock stuff so they had the stock short block, stock camshaft, stock 706 heads with a valve spring upgrade. But on this one, we actually had a Trailblazer SS intake because I was doing some other, again, some other testing with that. But the results would be exactly the same if I had the truck manifold on. It's just that you would start lower and end lower. But on this first test, we ran uh, the 5.3 liter uh, the way that we always do on the dyno, long tube headers, electric water pump, and a Holly HP. Dialed the thing in, and it made a little bit more power than normal because of the Trailblazer SS intake manifold. It produced 359 horsepower and 384 foot-pounds of torque, so it was working pretty well for a stock one. Then once we swapped out that stock LM7 cam for the Stage 1 truck cam from Brian Tooley Racing, and I'll go ahead and post the uh, specs for the Stage 1 cam up here so you guys can take a look at them, and that way we can compare the 1, the 2, and the 3. So this, these are the results for the truck cam. As you can see, we picked up quite a bit of power. The peak power numbers for the Stage 1 cam jumped up to 411 horsepower and 407 foot-pounds of torque. So both the peak power and peak torque were up, and the peak power was up quite a bit, as you can see. We didn't really lose anything down low. We loaded this thing down as low as 2,500 RPM, and we started picking up power, you know, basically from 3,000 on going out. I honestly don't know how often you're at wide open throttle at 2000 RPM or even 2500 RPM because that's, you know, the stall speed of the factory converter has got to be 1800 or something like that. So when you, if you mash the throttle, one of two things is going to happen. Uh, it's usually going to downshift and go into a lower gear and then which you'll be at a higher RPM or you'll be accelerating at a rate if you're already in a low, in a low gear that you're going to be at RPM anyway. Now the truck cams work fairly well. I know a lot of guys want really big torque gains down low at 2500 RPM from these truck cams or from any of these, you know, low lift cams and low uh, duration cams. It's really hard to do with a cam you have to get power down there. So let's take a look at the stage 2 cam. As you can see, the stage 2 cam really didn't lose anything. I mean, maybe down at 2,500, we see a little bit down there and actually offered a little bit more power. So if a guy wants a little bit more power up top, you know, the difference between the two out here past 6,000, you know, is a, you, you could get another 15 horsepower or so from the stage two. Personally, and we'll, and we'll, we'll go over this in the, uh, in the conclusion, but I, I kind of like the stage one, especially for a 5.3, and definitely for the smaller 4.8, I would go with the stage one cam. It's just a good all around combination, and I think that the drivability might be a little better. I don't think you would need a converter on either one of these because it doesn't look like we're losing that much bottom end there. So let's take a look at the final test now run on this 5.3 liter. Here's the stage three truck cam. And like the stage two, we picked up a fair bit of power. It was now making 433 horsepower and 409 foot-pounds of torque. Note that the peak torque stayed, you know, about the same on all of the cams within one or two foot-pounds. Most of the gains on the stage three were offered out past 5,000 RPM. But on the stage three, on this 5.3 liter, we did see a slight loss in torque down low 
um, kind of all the way up past 3500 so in my opinion unless you're gonna put a converter in it the stage 3 is not would not be my choice for a daily driver but let's take a look at how all these did on the larger 6 liter now to continue our testing with the stage 1 stage 2 and stage 3 cams from Brian Tooley Racing we decided to apply them to a larger 6 liter and because I love swapping cams so much I thought hey let's do some more so we I had a, a 6 liter LY6 and we kept the factory rectangular port heads on and I know what you're thinking wait these uh, truck cams are designed for cathedral port heads trust me if you learn anything on this channel you'll learn that every cam is a boost cam and also the cams don't care about what cylinder heads on there so on this 6 liter equipped with the and because this is originally a VVT motor I also had to put a non VVT cam in it to start our baseline so I put a 6 liter truck cam in an LQ4 cam and equipped with that camshaft our 6 liter produced and this test was also run with stock exhaust manifolds so stock cast iron truck manifolds feeding two and a half inch basically pipe extensions so we didn't run headers on this particular test and then on the next one we're going to run headers so equipped with a stock truck manifolds and that six liter cam our six liter produced 433 horsepower and 454 foot pounds of torque so slightly more torque than power which is kind of what we saw in the 5.3 as well after we installed the stage one truck cam the power output jumped to see here's our increase the power out jumped to 460 horsepower and 464 foot-pounds of torque both peak power and peak torque were up shifted the torque a little bit after we installed the stage 2 cam and I'll put the again we can put the specs back up but they're the same as they were for the 5.3 liter so after we again remember this is with the stock truck manifolds that's the stage 2 cam we got a nice gain from the stage 2 cam the power output jumped to 483 horsepower and 471 foot-pounds of torque and again like we saw with the 5.3 the gains the big gains in power come after 4000 rpm and we rev this thing all the way out to 6500 because we had valve spring we put valve springs on these rec port heads now with the stage 2 we did see a slight loss in torque down low um, not a lot you're talking about uh, six or seven foot-pounds down there and maybe well I don't know I, it surprises me that the stage 2 did that on the 6 liter but that's our test and the last cam that we installed was the 5 point or the uh, stage 3 from Brian Tooley Racing the stage 3 truck cam so here's what happens when we install the stage 3 got a little bit more power the power output jumped to 491 horsepower and it was kind of level there uh, what I didn't like about the stage 3 cam even on the 6 liter is this it kind of continued to trend that we would uh, be swapping power now we're trading power we're losing power down low as you can see here for the extra power that we get at the top which is why I think on a 6 liter I probably wouldn't go any bigger than the stage 2 um, but again unless you were putting converter in this thing and you would negate basically most of that loss there and then all you'd have is the extra power up top that might be a good option that's our comparison on the 6 liter with the factory truck manifolds now let's take a look and see if it's any different once we installed long tube headers because I went through this whole thing again with long tube headers the final test in this little cam adventure of ours was on the same 6 liter the LY6 but for this test I ran long tube headers because we had uh, people expressing their opinion before that the test wasn't real world unless we had stock exhaust manifolds on so I decided to run it both ways we ran it with headers because I know a lot of guys have headers on their truck and we installed th this was run with a set of inch and three quarter long tube headers so equipped with headers and that six liter uh, LQ4 camshaft our LY6 produced 443 horsepower and 467 foot-pounds of torque and if you remember running the same condition with the stock exhaust manifolds that's up about 10 horsepower and 13 foot-pounds of torque although the gains at different spots with the headers is much more than that 
So if we apply now our stage one truck cam with our headers, we increase the power from 443 horsepower and 467 foot-pounds of torque to 474 horsepower and 480 foot-pounds of torque. So basically the, the, the power was up everywhere with um, the, the camshaft seemed to respond fairly well to the headers. It's the same kind of thing that we saw last time, only we didn't see quite a, a big difference down low. But if we take a look now, at our stage two cam. Again, same thing that we saw last time with the stock exhaust manifolds. It picked up power above 4,000 compared to the stage one cam. The peak power jumped up by 20 horsepower to 494 horsepower and 482 foot pounds. Again, uh, the stage one cam had 480 foot pounds, so they're both kind of right there in terms of the peak torque. There's a little bit more you can see with the stage two cam from, again, from 4,000 on out, it kind of started doing better. Down below, we don't see much of a change, although very low, below 3,000, we started to see a little bit of a trade off there on the stage two cam. Now let's take a look at stage three. Stage three, same kind of thing that we saw with the stock exhaust manifolds here now with the headers. With the stage three cam, we were able to make over 500 horsepower, which was nice, made 503 horsepower. Torque was up by two foot pounds to a peak of 484 foot pounds. Again, we saw that before, even with a 5.3, we didn't see a big change in the peak torque. We're just kind of shifting it around a little bit. And we saw gains with the stage three over the stage two from 5,000 on up. So if you're a guy and you've got a truck and you want to rev that thing out, this might be your cam. Like before, we also saw a loss uh, in torque down low, below 4,000 RPM, the stage three loss compared to the uh, stage two, and certainly compared to the stock cam. But uh, that's something that might be cured with a converter. So if you don't mind putting a converter in there and you want the bigger cam, because everybody knows the stage three is better than the stage two, and the stage two is better than the stage one, because you know two is, is more than one and three is more than two. The only thing better than this obviously would be the stage four. So this is where they fall all fall in. Now you guys get to choose which one you want, but this should give you the information that you need. And you can tell by the stuff down low, the what's happening with the torque numbers down low, the gains and losses there. That should tell you whether or not you probably will need a converter for your application. But here's all the info. Now you get to choose. Okay guys, after taking a look at the data, what's your favorite? For me, on a 5.3 liter, I think I'm going to stick with the stage one. I don't want to lose any power down low for the gains I get up top. Now with a converter, that changes everything. If you're going to change the converter in the trans, you can step up to a two, three, or even a stage four. Same thing on the six liter. Although since we have more displacement, I'm going to step up one. I'm going to go with a stage two on the bigger six liter. But again, with a converter, maybe a three or four. But that's why they make so many different stages. Different strokes for different folks. I'm Richard Holder, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Do all that stuff so I can keep making all these videos. Thanks for watching, guys.